Hey guys, remember that Sentinel model kit of Gorillanka? So, remember this guy, right? Well, they show off some new images, and as you can see here, you can clearly see that this is a unpainted prototype. Yeah, I honestly doubt they're gonna show you something that looks like this because, well, that is gonna be an easy build but a hard paint job. That's for sure, you have to paint everything. That's gonna be pretty crazy. Um, 1 in 144 scale, I think this guy's supposed to be, but it looks like it has some really strong articulation, as you can see there. And of course, it has quite a few accessories, honestly, as you can see there. He has drills, which is great. So, it, it has that going for it, but it, it's kind of odd, you know, seeing a model kit like this. You normally see them grayed out, white but with all these different colors it's, it's a little bit off um now as you can see there yes you do have two parts for the sunglasses different hands of course no articulated fingers so um don't expect you know master grade type of quality but kiss looking pretty good but like i said this is unpainted this is as raw as you're gonna get I mean they just left the parts just like that they, they were like okay it came off the mold let's just get them like that but as you can see the drill looks good and you can even see the areas um so you can panel line so honestly I'm actually glad they show it like this because if you get it you can definitely pick out the panel lining areas a lot easier if you let yourself you know go along with what you're seeing here on these pictures here you can see the wings yes it comes with the wings the backpack so that is good that they added that but like I said the, those colors are so they, they just throw you off especially um, the brownish colors but the wings the glasses you get two of them um, the drills two different sizes and the different hands and the little drills there but they actually chose us the parts up close so you might be thinking ha huh, so <laughs> are, are the drills gonna be pink no like I said I don't think they're just gonna sell you something like this I mean you know um, it's a lot easier to paint white and black pieces and gray but this looks like a really daunting and really tedious job if they actually sell it like that in my, in my opinion I don't think they're gonna do that honestly uh, but the pieces look great look pretty nice but it does worry me that some pieces like this one here you're gonna have to do a little bit of painting and here you can see all the pieces that's gonna come with um, there's quite a lot so looks like it's gonna be you know it's not gonna be a master grade um, job but it's gonna be pretty close but I think the, you're actually what you're gonna get are pieces like this one here in this picture I think you're gonna get um, the, col the right colors on each piece and maybe a few like um, the mouth with the teeth I think you're gonna have to paint the teeth white because the mold the actual piece is just one solid piece so it's not like separate pieces and, and that's the thing that's the thing about Kobukiya and other Malke companies you know is that they for some reason instead of just adding like Bandai does. Uh, Bandai has spoils us, spoils us every time with model kits and every new Master Grade they, they just keep spoiling us more and more and more. The reason being that they, instead of let's say like the mouth and the teeth instead of just that just being one piece they, they make it multiple pieces so if the 
teeth are supposed to be white, they're gonna be white and the other piece is gonna be red and black and whatever other color they need. Um, it does add a few more extra steps on the building process, but I think it's a lot better. It, 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 honestly, it is a lot better when you have that because after building, trust me, I built the Kobukiya Max Armor Mega Man and that was like my first model kit that wasn't a Bandai model kit and for some reason just the build felt so long so long it felt longer than master grade and i have built gundam f91 2.0 my master grade gundam alex 2.0 and i didn't feel that tired after building those compared to mega man which was basically a figure right standard you know so We'll have to wait and see how this is gonna turn out. It is interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna get it honestly, but uh, the interest is there. I mean, we still don't know the pricing yet, but I'm guessing it's gonna be expensive. It's from Sentinel. It's not gonna be cheap, I'm guessing, considering their figures go, well, depends. Some of their figures go for 60 to 80 to 100 to more. It, it just depends here guys but honestly if it comes painted like what you're seeing here then this thing is gonna be pretty cool um, but if you have to paint everything that is that I, I don't see a lot of people going for it honestly if you have to do all that work it's just not not worth it especially if you don't know how to paint or you don't have the money to pay somebody to paint it for you then it's not worth getting um, like I said I don't think they're gonna sell it like that I, I, I honestly don't think so let me guys let me know what you guys think do you think they're gonna sell it like this do you think not um, who you dare you know uh, take on the challenge if they were not to sell it painted but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.